did you invest in multiple network marketing companies? Like uh, like the way they, the way traditional traditional businessmen would do it. Let's answer that question. Good evening, money and life movement. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, and welcome again to JG's Random Thoughts. Now, before we get out to the question, and I'd like to, well, you know, you know the drill. You know the drill. Hit that icon right there to subscribe. Then hit the bell so that you won't miss out on anything regarding my channel. Okay. Well, let me give you a backgrounder on uh, something that. Uh, that compelled me to ask that question. During my time, right, uh, maybe my first several years in network marketing, I was always told to focus on just one company, right? The reason was uh, you're gonna get so you're gonna be get too distracted. You're uh, your focus, will, your focus will be uh, out of whack. Uh, the company you're in right now is the best in the best in the business, the best in the country. The products are uh, bar none, and all that other bullshit, right? If you, when I look when I look back at that now, I only see it as bullshit, right? So with my with my uh, with my with my actuation like right now, I bet you know what the, what my answer will be. So I'm not gonna, I'm not going to keep the suspense anymore. The answer is a big fat yes. Okay. The question now is why and how. Okay. Let me let me answer the why first. Why? These days you just can't rely on a network marketing company to. Uh, to provide you with the with the income you want, right? They themselves they are too busy promoting their brand. Okay, they've been uh, well. Then can I say self-centered? Right? Never marketing companies are too self-centered these days. Okay, so to rely on just one company. To spell financial doom for you, right? Now the how. Okay, I I can only see one one thing that will answer the how. If you have your own personal brand, no matter what network marketing company you're in or what network marketing companies you're in, it won't matter because the first thing. The prospect will see is your own personal brand. Yung pangalan mo muna ang makikita ng tao. Pardon me for speaking in for speaking in Filipino, all right? I want this to uh, I want uh, I want I want to reach out to my Filipino audience right now. Okay, so pardon the Filipino, so pardon my uh, occasional Filipino uh, outbursts. Now, so. If you have your own personal brand, okay, I repeat, it doesn't matter what network marketing company you're in, okay, because at the end of the day, it is your business, not theirs. It's your business, not theirs. Not anyone else's, not the government's, not, uh, no, no corporate entity owns your business, but you. Owns your brand, sorry, but you. Okay. If you've already built a solid brand for yourself, so well, no matter what kind of network marketing company you, you carry, no matter what kind of products you carry, it's not worth the battle anymore. Right? Having a personal brand has a lot of benefits and advantages. Okay? If in the event that you decide you decide to jump to another network marketing company or take on another network marketing company as an investment, 
it's not going to be a problem because like I said a while ago the first thing people will see and pay attention to is your name okay? your name is on the line here at the end at the start and the end of the day your name is on the line right? and besides it would be only a dumbass okay? only a dumbass would put his own company put his never marketing company's name in front of, a, of an ad or a, or a social media post right people are smart these days people are so smart these days when it comes to ads if they see a company name okay i'm going to google it <laughs> that's the first thing people will do that's one that's one disadvantage that's one disadvantage of knowing how to use google you put out your you put out your never marketing company's name and people will google it right away they're not going to, they're not going to pay attention to you anymore they will ignore you actually because they already know they already know how to how to approach the company how to join without uh considering you as their sponsor they don't need you because well they won't, you already gave you already gave them the company's name whose loss is it companies no 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 the pro the uh the person or prospect not even it is your loss right it's your loss and it's your fault because you already gave them the company's name you already uh you already posted what company you're in what kind of compensation plan you know what kind of products you're uh, you're promoting but if they see your name first if they see your name first on that on that post on that ad you will be the first one you will be the first one to be contacted okay? you will be the first one to get in touch with that prospect not the company see what i mean now even if you invest in multiple network marketing companies it's okay because it's your name in front of the promotion not the companies it'll be your discretion now which company which company or compensation plan or product to promote to this to promote to this person it's that simple okay that is my take on that answer now if you found if you found real value if you find this video valuable again if you haven't hit subscribe and the bell do it now and feel free feel free to comment okay i would love to discuss this with you and besides if it's a random thought it's open for discussion that concludes another episode and oh i forgot check out check out these videos over here or over here what what, 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 what video can you see here click on click or tap on that so while you wait for the next while you wait for the next episode watch those videos thank you guys and i'll see you in the next episode Adios from Festival Mall.